Hey everyone, in this video I will be making a web server using ESP8266 board and I will be explaining code for ESP32 as well. Watch my previous video to set up Arduino IDE for ESP boards. The link will be in description. Let's start the code explanation. Here I have two folders, one is advanced web server and other one is normal web server. Today I will be explaining the normal version. The commented part is for ESP32 and the other is for ESP8266. The only difference here is the usage of different libraries. I will be explaining you the ESP8266 but the code for ESP32 is same as well. Here we will include three libraries, one is for Wi-Fi and the other two for web server. Then we have Wi-Fi credential. You have to change SSID and password to your own Wi-Fi where ESP32 will connect. Then we initialize web server uh, using async web server library at port 80. Then we have a constant named HTML content where we store our HTML code. This is a very basic code uh, and there is no any styling. In your case you can add CSS and JavaScript as well. Then we have void setup function inside which we initialize serial communication. And we also try to connect to Wi-Fi using provided SSID and password. For logging, we will also print connecting to Wi-Fi in serial monitor. After that, we will run a pile loop where uh, Wi-Fi status is not connected, then it will keep on printing dot. After Wi-Fi gets connected, the loop will break and it will print connected to Wi-Fi in new line. And finally, we will print the local IP address. Then we have a server dot on. Uh, at slash it means uh, we'll serve html content in home page and it is of type text slash html then we have server dot on not found it means all the other root uh, will show not found text finally we we'll begin server there is nothing in loop because this is async type of web server so we don't need anything there Next step is to upload the code to ESP board. For that you need to connect your ESP board using USB cable. You can see after connecting I get it in serial port. Then I will select my board. Uh, it will be Node MCU for ESP8266. And I changed my Wi-Fi credential with super hard password. After it is uploaded, I will just open serial monitor, then click on reset button in ESP board. Here you can see it is showing connecting to Wi-Fi and it is connected to Wi-Fi then it prints the local IP address. Now I will just access the IP address from my browser. And you can see the website is now hosted and if you type this IP address from your network then you can access this from any device. In next video I will be hosting a website by uploading file that would be in advanced web server. If you want to see that video the link will be in description and that web server will look something like this. It will also be showing all the files uploaded. In my upcoming video, I will be running AI in ESP board, so stay tuned. And if you have any query or any suggestion, you can just leave a comment. Thank you for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel.